What's up everybody, NT Certified here, and today is Thursday, so we're going to go ahead and get into our typical Tune In Thursday video, and I'm going to switch it up just a little bit, and we're not going to do my game related, you know, retro pickups that I normally do on my Tune In Thursday videos. We're going to talk about the Nintendo Switch and, and how I feel about the Nintendo Switch, and then I'm going to show you a few Nintendo related pickups uh, that I have for my Switch that I didn't have on a release day and then we're going to get into a few other things. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So I've had my Switch for uh, roughly six days now. I uh, picked it up, you know, last Friday or last Thursday at midnight and I've been playing it pretty much every day uh, since I picked it up mainly it's been Zelda and first thing that I want to say is that Zelda is an amazing game uh, it's massive I like to explore I'm not trying to rush through the story I'm more so trying to make it to every edge of the map that I can and the first thing I want to get into is that I finally have a reason to use my amiibos. Every Zelda related amiibo, whether it be Link or Sheik or Zelda or Ganondorf or any of the new ones, the, the Guardian or the, the, the red guy with the, with the club, I don't know his name, but every amiibo has a use in this game to give you potentially, you know, special items that you can't otherwise find or you can otherwise only find in one particular place in the game. Now, the dilemma for me is that I don't open my amiibos. All of my amiibos are hung up along, you know, the walls in this room. And I haven't, you know, I've yet to hang up the Zelda ones yet because I kind of want to open them to get these, you know, special things, but I, I don't know what to do. So for right now, they're they're sitting on my, you know, basement floor as I contemplate whether I want to open them or put them into the game. But I want to commend Nintendo for having some type of compatibility that actually pays off for you in Zelda uh, Breath of the Wild. And... You know, as I said before, it's a great game. Uh, I'm loving the story, and I've been playing Zelda everywhere. Uh, I took it to work the other day uh, because my boss, back when I first pre-ordered it, she's like, okay, well, bring it in. You know, I'd like to see it before you hook it up. And originally, I'm thinking to myself, like, why would I bring my game system into, you know, into work? But it's so portable that it actually works, and, and I took it to work and we put it on her desk and we play one two switch in her office like we're mic milking cows you know like in the office like it was amazing and getting into one two switch one two switch is not a bad game i mean sure it may not be worth the 50 dollar price tag i was able to pay 39.99 because i had best buy gamers club if you don't have best buy gamers club uh, you definitely should sign up for that. It's two years for $29.99, and it pretty much gets you 20% off of all game content. It could be new. It could also be, you know, game content from the past. So it could be Grand Theft Auto V, for example, a game that is probably, what, $35? You can get 20% off of games that are old as well, and it's definitely definitely paid itself off probably five or tenfold at this point for me so I'm, I'm really lucky to have that and also Amazon Prime does the same thing you get 20% off of all new game content when you purchase games from Amazon Prime so I paid $39.99 for it and it may not even be worth $39.99 I think it should have been a packing game but to keep the price of the switch at $2.99 you know it's fair and I picked it up and, and I enjoyed it. I've played it with more than a few people and everybody seems to, to, to enjoy it for the most part. And it's definitely like a party game. If you're going to have, 
some type of like gathering. It's definitely a, a great icebreaker, especially having to stare somebody into the eyes that you don't know. Always brings out like a laugh or a giggle or a smile. Great icebreaker. One Two Switch is a decent game. Um, I'm not gonna say it's a terrible game because, you know, it. I had fun with it, and and I can only speak for myself. And then the next game that I played was Fast RMX. I downloaded that on my Switch, and that reminds me of F Zero. Between F Zero and Extreme G, and Extreme G was an amazing game from my childhood. I had Extreme G One and XG Two, Extreme G Two, and it reminds me of that a lot. Uh, the one thing that was tough for me was when you go over the uh, speed strips that make you go faster. You have two different colors. You have blue and you have yellow. And you have to switch your car to match the color of the strip that you're going over, which creates a different dynamic when you're playing the game. So I felt challenged in a way. It wasn't just like a racing game where you, you know, you just race down the street and you try to bump the other guy. Like it really had some type of dynamic to it. And I can appreciate that. So I also purchased uh, Snipper Clips, but I haven't had enough time to get into it yet to give it a full review. But I've played a few of the levels, uh, probably about five or so. And I have to say that it's it's really, I, I think of it as like a more team based game, more so than a single player game, because I, I tried to use both characters to, to get something done. And, and it wasn't as fun as I thought it would be. So I'd like to try and get somebody else uh, to play it with me to, to try to make more sense of it or just have like a teamwork aspect to go with it because I feel like the game has a lot of potential and a lot of other people seem to like it a lot also. So I'm just gonna give that another round uh, within the next week and then I'll be back with some comments on that game. Now, still haven't opened Bomberman R. Uh, that game's still sitting on my shelf and it's still wrapped up in the case. Uh, at some point I'll get around to it, but for right now, I'm focusing on Zelda. And then when I'm not playing Zelda, I'm playing uh, Fast RMX because I'm really enjoying that game. Now, hardware-wise, uh, I've been hearing that a lot of people are having issues with the left Joy-Con. Well, I guess I'm a lucky one because I'm not having any issues out of my left Joy-Con. And I'm going to knock on wood right now that I haven't had any issues with any game systems ever in my lifetime. I don't know what it is, but I've really been lucky, you know, the, the past 20 or so years with game systems that I haven't had any issues, no red rings of death and you know no blue screens no crashing none of that I've, I've been very lucky and my left joy con is is working really well so uh also people are having issues with the screen i've heard so when they put their uh switch into the dock it's scratching the screen somehow the inside of the dock is scratching the screen my fix for that is to buy a screen protector uh, I put a screen protector on it before I even started playing any of the games. I remember when I did my unboxing video, I turned the system on and Zelda started, but immediately after I finished the video, I turned the system off and when I came back to play it, I made sure I put a screen protector on it first because anything with a touch screen is, is subject to damage if you don't protect it. So. I put a screen protector on it and I'm not having any issues at this time. Now, the hardware itself is working very well. I'm not seeing any, any dead pixels. Um, I'm not seeing any frame rate issues. Everything is working pretty much flawlessly and me being able to take a game like Zelda with me on the go to school, uh, to work, to my grandma's house, like to a friend's house, in the car while I'm waiting for God knows whatever. It's, it's just cool, like it's amazing. 
and, and I love it. And I think Nintendo has finally got something that may just work. I mean, the, the Wii U had a touchscreen, but it didn't really enhance the gameplay at all. The Switch enhances, it pretty much changes everything. Uh, and, and that's pretty much all I can really say about it is that it, it's great to be able to take full games like this and, and take them on the go and play them. And, and Zelda is just the first great example of that. And once Mario Odyssey comes out, it, it, it just gets even better. And Splatoon 2, like having all those games and just being able to play them wherever you want, whenever you want, is, is just amazing to me. And, and I love it. So... In my opinion, I feel like the Switch is a great system. I know it doesn't have the storage capacity, and I know it doesn't have the power that the Xbox One has or the PS4 has, but it's definitely worth taking a look at if you like Nintendo games. Uh, I know the price point for a lot of people, uh, a lot of people don't like the price point being $299. I think it should have been around $250. Um, but I'll kind of challenge that a little bit and say that I feel like $299 for the technology that's included is fair uh, to me with it being brand new. I mean, you can't really compare the PS4 being $249 right now and the Xbox One being $249 right now versus the launch price of a Nintendo Switch that's $299 when the PS4 sold for $399 originally and the Xbox One sold for $499 originally. So... Either way, I came out cheaper than I did for both of those systems when they launched because I always buy a bunch of accessories and games to go with mine. So I'm happy with mine. I'm hoping if you have a Switch that you're happy with yours. If you plan on getting one, you know, go ahead and just let me know in the comments below. And if you're not planning on buying one, that's cool too. <laughs> um, so I picked up a few things after I did my video. Uh, last Friday and the first thing is I picked up uh, a pro controller now This is just the box. I left the actual pro controller downstairs But originally when I did the Nintendo switch preview tour I didn't like the way that the pro controller felt I felt that it was really light and Now that I've gotten a chance to play it and feel it. It actually feels nice and sturdy uh, It works really well and I don't play with the Joy-Cons unless I'm playing 1-2-Switch. Everything else that I play with, I play on the Pro, the Pro Controller because it just feels more natural to me. Uh, that's what I've always played games with and that's what I'm gonna continue to play games with. So having this is amazing. If I know the price point is high for a controller, but it's definitely worth it if you are a traditional game player and you don't wanna have to deal with the Joy-Cons um, this is definitely a must buy. Also, finally opened my uh, Zelda Special Edition. And this is my case that came in the Special Edition of the Sheikah Slate. It's really nice. Everybody else thinks it's cool so far. So, I guess I'm in the cool group. I actually do have my Switch in it. Uh, it's nice and sturdy, it fits well, and it has a space for about 24 games. Actually, let's, I'm lying, I'm lying, let's not go there. It has a space for about 12 games. <laughs> right now, the only thing that I have in it is 1-2-Switch. I don't have Zelda, Zelda's in the system actually. And then it has this space for all of your extras. So right now, I just have my... my um oh my gosh what do you call these things grips yes i have my grips <laughs> in here right now so i went ahead and i attached my went ahead and attached the mario things I'm not sure if i showed this on the original video but Went ahead and attached those onto it. They're pretty fairly easy. So just go ahead and just clip on and clip off. 
And I know that there were some other issues with like adhesive covers not attaching to the switch or not meshing well with the finish on the switch. So I mean I would definitely recommend that you don't put any covers on it that aren't like Nintendo licensed. Definitely, definitely avoid it if you want to make sure that all of your stuff is protected. And also, I got this bad boy right here, which I am super excited about. This is my collector's edition Breath of the Wild strategy guide. Now, I am not the type of person to buy strategy guides, ever. I don't buy strategy guides, but for this game, I had to pick up the strategy guide uh, because I've heard so many great things about it. So one thing that it comes with is this huge, huge map. I'm not sure if it even captured everything in the, in the frame there, but that is a huge map of the entire world in Zelda. And I want to say that I've played the game probably about 15 hours or so at this point and I've only opened two sections of the world right now and I believe there might be close to about nine or ten so I have a lot of gameplay ahead of me following a strategy guide is kind of tough for me but it's it's very detailed uh, the pages are nice and thick there's a lot of information in this book and there's a lot of pictures. Some of the print is kind of small. So for people who have issues seeing small print, you might want to, you know, um, get like a magnifying glass or some readers or something to help you read through everything because there's a lot of content and they kind of packed it in with some small font. So that is my uh, Nintendo review for this week. Uh, the next thing that I want to talk about is my 250 subscriber giveaway. Um, the person who won the giveaway, Acela Nation, is actually in Norway. And what winded up happening is that I didn't realize how expensive shipping was for international people. So... I wasn't able to ship him his items and I've already sent him an email and he's aware of that you know but I did promise him that I would ship those items if I was able to get the shipping down you know below the cost of what's in the box because shipping right now is running at a, like 50 bucks or more to go there and the items in the box just aren't worth that much so I didn't see you know any reason to, to ship those out other than to you know make good on my promise so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold on to those items for him uh, in the case that I can get much cheaper shipping and I'll ship those items to him so if you are watching a selenation once again I apologize for not being able to ship those items out to you but I'm gonna hold on to them now with that being said I still have yet to give anything away so, I'm going to do a 300 subscriber video, and I'm about 13 or so subscribers away from 300, so we're going to set up another uh, giveaway uh, probably within the next week or two. Uh, probably won't take me too long to get there. Now I need to get together what I'm going to give away, but that's in the near future. Um, I'll wait until I reach it before I do a video, but just wanted to give everybody a heads up to look forward to another giveaway that's coming up very, very soon. Now, next week, we're gonna get back into my retro game pickups because I'm actually a few weeks behind. Got a lot of cool things that I feel like I'm ready to show you. And, and, and that's about all for today. Uh, it's Thursday. I'm going to just relax, chill out, play some Breath of the Wild, and enjoy my night. So once again, this is NT Certified. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you all. Please follow me. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. I'm on Twitch, YouTube Live on the weekends. 
I'm everywhere. Have a good afternoon. Peace, people.